What's up? It's your boy Third Letter and I'm better C Plus. Tune in to iHipHop.com. iHipHop.com here, chilling with C+. So how's everything going on with you? Everything's going good. I'm adapting to this New York weather and this confusing <laughs> ass subway system. But besides that, everything's going good. Well, I first even got put on to you when um, your All City joint came out. And I fell in love All with right. the um, like the Gone record. I was just like, damn, you know what I'm saying? I gotta hook up with this dude. And now, obviously, you got like other project, the um, Bernie's Negro. And I know you did some stuff with Ski, so what else do you have on your plate right now? The biggest thing I got going right now is Young Champions, which is an EP I got coming out with a producer from SAC by the name of Lee Bannon. Yeah. Shout out to Bannon. Uh, so we just dropped like the first single off that called In My Groove, which is like a real kind of like big epic sample type record, which is kind of like what people like to hear me on apparently. But I don't know, the project's gonna surprise people I think a lot because it has like a lot of more trippy, thicker snares, you know what I'm saying? A little bit more muddy, like almost kind of drugged out, spacey type sound to it. But it also got the sample shit on there, got, got the smooth shit on there for, for smoke out shit with your girl and stuff like that. I also got my sophomore album, Local, which you know I just did the acronyms when we did the All City album. Yeah. It's all C-I-T-Y, Creative, Intelligent, Trouble You. And then the sophomore album, Local, is Loyalty, Over Cash, and Luxury. So that'll probably be our end of the year. I mean, we're working on some situations for that. I dig, I dig it. So obviously, this is this is not your first time working with, you know, Lee Bannon, and both you guys being from out there. So how would you say the chemistry's been like? Does, do you guys just vibe easily together? Ben is my dude. And it's crazy because, like, you hear about people who have, like, ADD and ADHD. Like, <laughs> I've never met anybody that has, like, a real, like, diagnosed ADHD. Like, he's, like, a mad genius. Like, like one of those people, like, he... I've seen him make beats like on the first time around. Like, you know, the first time around, I mean, it's like he sampled, he, he got the drum pattern and then sampled the record and it just clicked the first time, the first loop around. Like, yeah, I feel like, yeah. bro, you just made a beat in 30 seconds. And then he sit there and try to tweak it. I'm like, nah, nah, let me just rap on it. It's, it's good. You just made a beat in 30 seconds. It's okay. So, you know, it's, it's cool to work with people that, you know what I mean? He's a weird dude. Like, I'm not even trying to, like, get on him like that, but he's just, like, that mad genius flow. And it's, like, the way I create, it's just, like, I'm real on the spot with stuff. So when you get with somebody that you can kind of just go from that spontaneity and create music naturally like that, that's in the pocket. And that's just why I like to be as an artist. Would I be putting you on the spot if I asked you whose beats you loved more out of skis and bandits? You would kind of be putting me on the spot. <laughs> Uh, I think I, I think I like Skid a little bit, a little bit more over Bandit just because it's easy. But at the same time, I wouldn't be a real MC, I wouldn't be a lyricist if I didn't challenge myself. So Bandit coming with some weird, like, out, out of brain shit sometimes that makes me as an MC just go like, alright, I see what you're trying to do, but I, can, I can't rap over that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Where, where Skid is just like, that's just natural. Like, that's what he told me the other day too, he was like, yeah, I know how to produce for you. Like, there's not a lot of cats that I just know how to produce for it, like get you in your element where you shine as a rapper, you know what I'm saying? So I think it definitely like that whole climate just makes it a little bit more easier for me to throw these darks at y'all. Y'all catch what I'm talking about, you know what I'm saying? So how did you guys even first hook up with you being from out there and him, you know, obviously being a native New York type dude? I wanna thank uh, the powers of YouTube and also just people people fucking with me on Twitter and stuff like that. You know, Ski's a dope dude to where like he'll put it out there like, yo, send me some links to your music, I wanna hear what you guys are doing, you know what I'm saying? And there was more than one person, I guess, that sent him a link to one of my videos, and he clicked on it, and uh, I guess I caught his attention because in the video, it's the, it's the gun joint, do what you want. Yeah. And I'm, I forget the name of the instrument, but there's an old Asian guy, and he's playing the, the one string. Right at um, the beginning? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, it's like, and it has like the little kung fu, like the karate sound or whatever, and I, that's, yeah. that's Ski whole lane with the 24 hour karate school and everything, so. He, I think he got intrigued by that, and then he's like, okay, this kid fresh, he got, he listened to the old song, he got delivery, and like, you know, he just went from there, so he just randomly called me on YouTube, and then reached out. That's what you, you know, being from Sacramento, do you ever feel as if you guys get overshadowed by, like, you know, the Bay Area and LA? Ooh, I can't go into that, that's such a sensitive subject. If that, I mean, I can't even hate on LA, and I can't hate on the Bay Area, because Bay Area is like my second home, I get a lot of love out there, and even with LA, you know what I'm saying, I mess with a lot of cats out there, you know what I'm saying, but I'm from the capital of California, and depending on how much people, attention people paid in a geography class, they think LA is the capital, you know what, yeah. what I'm saying, so, <laughs> I think I got a lot of 
props and the dudes I gotta pay, you know what I'm saying, being from SAC, but at the same time, I'm, I'm just trying to do my part for the West Coast in general and, and North Cal, so I don't mind being overshadowed, because, you know what I mean, at the end of the day, there's someone that's gonna find that, that, that diamond in the rough.